In this video, I'll show you 10 tips and tricks you might find useful when designing a schematic in KiCad. I made quite a few different designs during the last couple of years, and I'm still learning new things in KiCad every day. But here I'll try and share some of the things that I find useful during the schematic design process. If you have some tips or ideas, feel free to share them in the comments. Maybe we can collect new ideas to another video. Also look out for the next one with tips and tricks for the PCB layout in KiCad. Stop waffling, let's dig into it right away. Tip number one, select function. There are different ways to select things in KiCad schematic. For example, if I want to take these wires and uh, labels, then if I go from the top left to the bottom right corner, it will only select the um, labels here and not the wires because the wires are not completely covered by the box. But if I go from the bottom right to the top left corner, then the tracks are also selected. So everything that the box touches will be selected. And if I want to have the chip with me as like this, then you can see the chip is not selected because it's not completely covered by the box. So if I cover it by the box completely, then it's selected. But then I can go from the bottom right to the top left corner and then everything is selected. And like this, and then everything is selected. And here we only have the label selected. Another cool feature is that if we select everything in this block, and then if we head over to the PCB layout, then we can see all the stuff that we have highlighted in the schematic is also highlighted here in the PCB design. So then we can take and move this block over there, for example, and we can go and have a look here if we want all the stuff that are related to the relay that's highlighted here and go into the PCB design and then here we have it, all the parts there. Tip number two, edit symbol fields. Before you can start the PCB layout, you need to define the footprints for your parts. Uh, it can be quite a tedious job if you have to go through all of them, you know, uniquely selecting which footprint you want to have. This can be done much easier. So uh, there's a tool up here called edit simple fields. And uh, that will show you all the parts that you have in your design. And you can see down here, my resistors, they have not been assigned a footprint yet. There's only the 10 kilo ohm, and then the last one we just made here, there was only one of them that we assigned a footprint. So we can just delete that one. So um, the way to do it is just to yeah take the name of the footprint and then copy it, control C and then control V for all the other ones. Then you have assigned the same footprint to all these parts if that's what you need, for example. And you can also change a lot of other things in here. You can change the values and you can do it by, you know, globally or for each part here. And there's also other possibilities of looking at other variables. You can just uh, click it on and off over here and then it will be visible in this list over here. Tip number three, pin helpers. I will show you this concept called pin helpers. Uh, here I have a fairly large memory chip and there's a lot of pins on it. And if I have to make a wire for each of these pins and make a unique label on them, that will take a long time. So you can basically just select all the pins and then right click the mouse and then there's this pin helpers and there's this wire so we can just drag out here the wire. If we want to have a label on them we just mark them again and right click and pin helpers and then net label and here we have all the the labels and they are taken from the pin name and we can just move them to the right location here. Or there, like that. And of course it's also possible to do for uh, 
smaller amount, pin helpers, and then we just net label. And we can just try it once more time here on this ESP32. Just mark all the pins, pin helpers, place a wire, and we mark them one more time. And pin helpers and net label and move and here we have all the names. Tip number four, copy blocks. It's very easy to copy from one design to another. So here in this design I want to have an LDR resistor and a resistor from another design. So this design is open over here and I just mark it like that and copy. And then we go to the design where I want it and I want to place it up here and I just say paste and there we go. We could also try and pick a larger piece of the other design. So we just go up here, let's take the power supply and just mark it and copy and then we go to the design where we want to put it in. There's no room for it right away but we can just say paste and put it out here like that. Tip number five, active low nets. There are many ways to define if a signal should be active low. So here we have an example of we just write it with a small n or a large n or yeah, I've seen many combinations of almost everything. But you can also just place a label. And then over here you see in the syntax help, it's actually possible to make an overbar. So we can just copy this and insert it here in the text field. And in between the curly brackets, we just write reset. And then we have a very nice formatted active low signal. And we can of course just copy this and duplicate it. And then if we need an RTS signal here, you can also see here on the other side, we can also change the label here. RTS, like that. Tip number 5a. Thank you PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Here I'll show you how easy it is to order your design directly from PCB Way using a KiCad plugin. So you simply go to Tools, External Plugins, and then down here we have the PCB Way plugin for KiCad. So when we execute this, this plugin will process all your data for the current design and it will upload the necessary files to PCB way. So here you can see it uh, uploaded the Kerber files, the bill of materials, and it detected the size of your board. And as usual, you can go in here and change all the different parameters. You can see it detected that uh, this is a four layer PCB and uh, the size of the board here. And of course you can change the colors and uh, the surface finish. So that's quite easy. Don't forget to check it out. And I would like to show you something over here. Uh, this is uh, Shiat Projects. This is other customers from PCB Way. They upload their designs. And uh, you can directly go in and have a look on all the different designs and order the PCBs that they also order it. Uh, there's a lot of different categories. You can, for example, go to computers and USB. So there's just a ton of different designs here that are quite interesting to look at. So don't forget to pay pcbway.com a visit. Tip number six, data sheets. So when you do your design, it's very useful to have easy access to the data sheets. So just Go to the part, press D, and then you'll get the specific data sheet. 
check this one and there you go and it's also very easy to configure you can also just double click the part and in here you see the path for the data sheet tip number seven insert multiple labels it's very easy to insert multiple labels in this example i need a label called gpio 26 to gpio 35 so what i do is i just press l for label and then i write gpio 26 like that and then i press the insert button and then we have up to 35 here and i can just remove those here in the middle i don't need those and there you go that's quite easy let's say i need a label called d0 to d10 so i just press l and i write d0 okay and then i just hit the insert button for as many times as needed tip number eight power nets it's very easy to deal with power nets in KiCad from version 8 you can simply go up here and double click on the label and uh, rename it let's rename this to plus 10 volts and if we want to insert a new symbol power symbol we just press p and then we get a huge selection here of different labels for the power net and we can also see there are different symbols here and for the ground it is also possible to select from different symbols and names and yeah we can just insert one called forward like that so that's very simple let's say that we by mistake labeled this 5 volt net to 5.0 volts this is not the same as plus 5 volt and how we um, how do we detect that so if we save this design and then go to tools and update pcb from schematic then we can actually see the nets and we can do that by saying inspect and net inspector and in here we can see that we have different uh, nets all the net names for the whole design is here and here we can see okay we have a plus 5 volt net is that is the correct one but we also have a plus 5.0 volt net and um, we have to go back to our design and then change this to plus 5 volt this is a way for verifying that you have not mixed up all your nets Tip number nine, templates. In KiCad, there are a number of different templates. Let's have a look on some of them. Go to File and New Project from Template. And here you see some predefined projects already. So let's say that we want to make a Raspberry Pi hat. Just select it here. There are some different informations about it and even as a layout as well. We just press OK. And then we give it a name. Let's just call it Pi Hat and save. And then we have a new project here. We have a schematic and we have a PCB. And let's have a look on the schematic first. And here you see the connector, the 40 pin connector is already defined with all the namings and everything is just as it should be. And down here we have the uh, ID chip. And then you can just start adding the components that you want to have on your head. And we can also have a look on the PCB. Let's try and open that. And here we go. Everything, just the correct size and the correct placement. Tip number 10, KiCad cheat sheet. In the video description down below, you can find the link to this KiCad cheat sheet. It's a very good thing to have lying around when making a new design. Try and force yourself to use the hotkeys, they're really helpful. 
and you see the hotkeys here and what they do here. You can also find extensive support documents at docs.kicat.org. Head over to the schematic editor and check out the reference manual. Here on the right side you see a complete list of all the topics that are covered in this document. That's it for now. I really hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.